Yes. All week we've been saying, Peg and Cat are so sweet, we have to have them for lunch. Uh... And now we can't believe it. We really are having Peg and Cat for lunch. <laughs> These giants love us more than Cat loves strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, in all the excitement, we forgot to wash our hands before eating. Oh, right you are, babe. <laughs> Don't go away. <laughs> Now's our chance, Peg. What are you doing, you crazy cat? Trying to escape down the beanstalk before the giants eat us for lunch. <laughs> Silly cat. When the giants say they're having us for lunch, that means they're having us as their guests, not their meal. But they're so big. Sure, the giants are a lot bigger than us, but you shouldn't be scared of others just because they're different from you. There's no food on the table. Nothing for them to eat but us. I'm sure there's something really tasty in the giant's kitchen just waiting to be served. <laughs> this cupboard looks like the place they keep their favorite treats. Uh, it's locked. So we'll use the key. Well, uh, go in. No wonder. The end of this key is square. The hole is a circle. These straight edges on the key won't fit through the round hole. We've got a big problem. We'll never see what's inside the cover. So Cat will yeah. never believe that these giants are really nice people. Ah. You genius cat, you found a key that's got a circle at the end. Mm. This round key fits right into the round hole. So we can open up the cupboard and see that the giants love to eat cookies. Now guess, how wrong were you, cat? Very. And so, problem solved. The problem is solved. And cat, come on out. The three bears, the three Billy Goats Gruff, and two of the three little pigs. One little piggy stayed home. <sighs> what were you doing in the giant's cupboard? I gotta tell you, the giants invited us for lunch. But when we got here, we got nervous. They're so big. So we checked the cupboard to see what they were serving, and the door slammed shut. <laughs> In the cupboard? Till lunchtime! I don't want to be lunch! We gotta get out of here. And fast! You all really think the giants are great big meanies? Yes! yes. Then maybe we should head home, just to be safe. <gasps> here they come. Feels nice to have your hands all clean, right, babe? Sure does, sweetie. We've got to get to the beanstalk without the giants seeing us. Looks like we've got a really big problem. But as we make our escape, we have to stick together. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of us. So nobody gets left behind. Egg? Cat? Huh, where are Peg and Cat? I bet they went to the bathroom when we were coming out, and we didn't see them down at our feet. <laughs> <laughs> They're so little. Say, honey, while we're waiting for them, could you get me some things from the kitchen? Not a problem. <gasps> He's coming back! Everybody, into the pitcher! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who's missing? The pig! with milk and bring it out, hon? Sure thing, babe. He's gonna fill it with milk. Everybody out. And bring my favorite cup. Of course, honey. The hat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's full. Did it again. Could you get my sun hat too, sweetie? And my sunglasses. Not a problem. <gasps> Tissues! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No more room in here. Where will you go? Hmm. <gasps> the picture frame. Seven in the tissue box and three in the frame equals ten. Ten. We did it again. My allergies. Oh, I'll bring out the tissue box too, right, babe? Thanks, sweetie. Oh, and could you bring our graduation?
graduation photo? Will do. There's no place else to go. Put down. Ooh. On that toilet paper. One, two, three, four, five. Five on the ski plus five on the toilet paper equals ten. Ten. We did it again. Hold on tight, everybody. I'm writing toilet paper. Should we run? Not yet. What do we do? Shh. Guess we should check on our guests in the bathroom. Maybe they fell in. <laughs> They're so little. Time to eat. The giants are coming! Ugh, it's too heavy to lift! I am totally freaking out! Cat's right. I should count backwards from five to calm down. Five, four, three, two, one! Hmm, that hole is dangerous. Someone could fall through. What? Circle? You could go through it if we slide the bowl over. You genius cat, or genius me, basically everyone here is a genius but the pig. <laughs> See ya <laughs> down below. Egg, cat. Come on. You got to do it. Go, 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 go. Peg? <laughs> Math really saved our pig. It's stuck. Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solve the problem. So everything is awesome. Problem solved. Hey, Peg. Hey, Ramon. Chopping wood today? I'm building a bigger house for the seven dwarves so they can finally each have their own room. Any chance you could chop down the beanstalk for us? Sure. One, two, three. Timber! Ramon. I do what I can. Peg and Cat, you ran away? And we helped our friends here escape from your cupboard. Oh, that's where they were. I told you to get that cupboard door fixed, honey. It locks itself when you shut it. Sorry about that. Ugh. You mean we were locked in by accident? You weren't going to eat us for lunch. You were going to make us lunch. The same lunch we made for Peg and Cat, a really big salad. <laughs> Filled with all kinds of crunchy goodies cut in circles. Mm. We love circles. And for dessert? Homemade cookies. <clears throat> That's good circle. Sorry we had the beanstalk chopped down. Honest misunderstanding. It happens all the time. <laughs> uh, how long till the beanstalk grows back up into the clouds? About ten years. Maybe you could find a really tall cornstalk to climb up. It might be a while till we get back up there, Giants. Could you put that salad in the freezer for us? And save me a cookie. We'll do. We'll have lunch with the Giants another time. But right now, we can have a great time walking home with our ten friends. Nine and one, we can get the run. Eight and two, we can hide and pick the moon. Seven and three, we can pull to the bed. However you arrange us, we're still Still 
Ice Giants. That one little piggy stayed home the whole time. It's lucky he did. If he'd come, we couldn't have kept counting to ten. I know. We would have had to count to that other number, right past ten. I can't believe I'm forgetting it again. I hate forgetting things. If we stop trying to remember that number, it will come to us. So let's not even try to think of it for like 11 seconds. <gasps> 11! <laughs> <laughs> but we really need a drummer, and our gig's really soon. We've got a big 